In this tutorial, we'll be going over a simple trick for working with vector textures in Affinity Designer. And this is not to be confused with an earlier tutorial I did where we went over how to use pixel-based black and white image textures. This has to do with textures that are made of vectors, as you can see here in my example. If I grab my anchor points tool, you can see all of the individual nodes in there. So if you want to follow along with what I'm doing here and try this out for yourself, I'll put a link in the description of the video to where you can download a free pack of vector textures that I put together. To work with this texture, I'm just going to right click it and copy it. I have it opened in a separate window here. You want to make sure you're copying the actual path itself and not the uh, embedded layer. And once it's copied, I'll come back over here to my artwork and I'm just going to paste it on there by pressing Control V. And I'm going to scale this down so it fits a little better. Now when you're working with textures, or vector textures anyway, you may think to use the path operations up here, or the boolean operations, to subtract the texture from the text or the object beneath it. But the problem with doing that is that objects like textures, or vector textures anyway, have lots of individual anchor points, and it's just a really inefficient way to do things. It'll slow your computer down, assuming that it'll even work without crashing. There is a much easier way to do this in Affinity Designer. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna position my texture where I want it to be, and I'm going to come over here to the Layers menu, and I'm going to choose a different blend mode. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to go all the way to the bottom where it says Erase. And once I choose Erase, you can see what happens there. The vector texture was subtracted from that shape back there. Now the problem with leaving this as it is, is that this texture is still there in the entire image. So if I have other design elements that I add to this design here, let me put this on the bottom, you can see that texture is also being applied to the objects beneath it. So if we just want to apply the texture to the object that you want it applied to, we have to make it into a clipping mask. So I'm gonna come over here to the Layers menu, I'm gonna select the texture, and I'm gonna click and drag and hold it on top of the target layer, and then I'm gonna release it, and now you can collapse this menu and select it. And now this has been made into a clipping mask, and now your texture is applied only to the subject, as you can see there. You can, sh you can see the, uh, the canvas showing through those uh, negative space areas. So that is a simple little trick for working with textures, or vector textures anyway, in Affinity Designer. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you wanna check that out. As always, thanks for watching.